Hi there, it's Belinda from Belinda Lee Briggs Web Design. This is a quick video to talk you through a recent change that Squarespace has made on how um, links are added to pages and also to just remind or refresh you how to create links to products or blog posts because you have to do it a little bit of a tricky way. You can't just do the page finder element. So let's get started. This is my website and I actually was playing with the commerce side to make sure that we could set this up properly. So I'm going to start off in um, my blog because I'm assuming that most people who are needing to add links to their sites are doing it through their blog. However, we can definitely um, use this same functionality to link on regular pages outside of blog pages, but this just seems a great way. So this is a recent blog post I wrote about um, should I use a pop-up for my email opt-in. And it's got um, quite a few links in it in this area. And so let's explore what it would look like if we were going to add another link. Um, so here we go. We're just going to pick some text and we're going to do the normal thing of hitting the link icon right there. So it gives you the ability to just type in a link here. And if you are simply um, going to just add a regular link, let's assume um, you're linking back to your own website, you could just open it up in a new page, come back in and hit the link icon to get that to come up. And you could just paste your link in and click apply. Now, um, I'm a huge fan of opening external links um, in a new window and opening links that are on within my site in the same window. Um, if they are going off site, it enables them to have your website still open to return to in another window. But um, what you don't want to do is force them to open 52 windows in their browser all located um, with all four pages located within your same site because that's a pretty annoying user experience. Um, so let's get rid of this link because we want to make sure that um, we, say we're going to link off-site like we said and let's go to just oh, CNN.com. This, this could be scary. Okay, so say we just want to um, send them to the CNN main page. And now we want to make sure that this opens up in a new window. So to achieve that, you're actually going to click the gear icon. You're going to paste your link in. You're going to slide this over to say open in a new window. And you're going to say save. But if you just click away at this point thinking you've done it, your link won't stay. You actually have to click apply. Okay. So that is, that, that are, that is two methods to use the new link builder function. So let's try another one. We're gonna remove this link. And what we actually wanna do is um, bring them to another page on our site that maybe we just made. So instead of having web address highlighted over here in the link editor, we can click on page and we can search the pages um, within our website. And so say you have a bazillion pages and um, you already know that you want to actually send them to your content writing guides. You can just start to type the name of the page up here and it will bring up choices. And now because this is internal to my website, I don't want it to open in a new window. So I'm not going to slide this over. I'm going to say save and then the all critical apply. Great. So let's look at a couple of the new options that were not there before, but are fabulous options for us. So um, say instead of talking about probably offended your reader, say I wanted to add a call to action here, down here and say, if you have any questions about this topic, please email me. And um, a lot of people don't like to put their email out there 
um, but I'm a fan of just making it as easy as possible for someone. Um, so I like to, you could just link on please email me and not put your email address out there. But if you have a decent spam filter, it'll be all right. So a new feature that wasn't there before, you used to have to write this in with code if you wanted it to work, is you can actually link to an email address. So now, I can have it send me an email and I can even say the sub subject, I can add the subject and it will automatically populate the subject for the person who's emailing me in their email client. So um, I know this is about pop-ups, so I'm going to say questions about your pop-up blog post. Okay, and um, you can, I, I don't normally type anything in the body, I like to leave that to the person authoring the post, but you also could include a CC or a BCC. Say you've got someone that manages your blog and they answer all your questions. Um, you can um, CC or BCC them, or um, you could even have an email them directly and CC or BCC you. So this is another nice feature. Another option is you could actually have tell them to call you, and you could type in your email, your number here, or you could actually have it set up to text. Okay, and the last option here is actually pointing to a file that you've already uploaded and it even gives you the option to upload a file this way. This is actually really wonderful because the way to add files to Squarespace, as you probably know, is pretty clunky. You have to go in and pretend you're click creating a link and head over um, to the file upload that way. So this gives us a much easier way to access the file and I always if I'm going to have someone link to a file, I always like to have it open in another window. So you click save. And don't forget that all important apply. Okay, I'm not going to save this. Oh, actually, there were a couple more things I wanted to tell you. Um, so maybe you have a um, guide um, about... MailChimp, because you just talked about a MailChimp autoresponder, and you want them to purchase this guide, this course, and if you, so, um, let's say, want to learn more about Mail, MailChimp, try my MailChimp for beginners course. All right, awesome. I want a link to my MailChimp for Beginners course, so I'm like, yes, here we go. I'm going to highlight this. Ooh, I have a crabby computer today. Highlight this. I'm going to click the link button, and I'm thinking, well, this is a page on my website, right? Can I get to my MailChimp for Beginners course? Let's try. MailChimp. No. Unfortunately, you cannot link, you cannot find blog posts or products this way, you actually have to um, copy it in as a link. So how would we do that? So I would actually, well, there are two ways. If you can easily get to um, the product through your regular website links, you could go that way. Um, but I have my products hidden, so what I would actually do is it would come back into my website and I would go to commerce and I would go to inventory and I would find my MailChimp newsletter for beginners product and I would open it. Now over on the options tab is the URL. Unfortunately you can only highlight the back end of the URL. You can't highlight the um, product shop that you have it in. So what you have to do is remember this, Squarespace classes, and you're going to come back in and you can type Squarespace classes slash and then paste that in. Okay, now this should work because I don't need all the HTTPS stuff because I'm already on 
going to be on my website. But if it makes your life easier, you could just paste the whole thing in. All right, let's apply that. Let's save and let's see what happens when we come out to my blog. So let's go learn more articles. And we're going to find the article on should I use a pop up? Hopefully, my everything's saved. And here it is try my MailChimp for Beginners course. And bam! It opens right up. What a great experience. And it lets them purchase. Oh, except that it's sold out. But I could turn on the waitlist feature, couldn't I? And there's something else for me to do. Okay, so suppose it's not a class. Suppose it's just another blog post that talks about email. Um, Want to learn more about MailChimp? Read my extensive blog post about MailChimp. Okay, and so now let's set it. Okay, so I still cannot find any blog posts in here. Um, I know I wrote a recent podcasting one, but no, no, it doesn't show. So what we do is to link to another article on the blog. We just go out to our website. We find it. I don't really think I actually have um, a blog post about MailChimp. And then I just hover over here and I right click and I say copy link address. If this is the one that I want. And then I come back in here. And I can just, I want to come up to web address this time. And I can paste it in there. Now you could get rid of this BelindaLeeBriggs.com, but if it's easier for you to just leave it, just leave it. Say save. We're going to save again. Now, let's get out of here. Let's do a little reload of my blog post. We're going back to that pop-up, and here it is. Read my extensive blog post about MailChimp for Beginners. We know that we didn't actually link to that blog post. We linked to another one. Oh, well, did I not say? Let's see. Oh, I didn't save. I, must, I missed clicking apply. Did you notice that? Let's try again. Let's say save and don't forget to apply. I completely forgot to apply. It seems redundant and hopefully Squarespace will fix that. Okay, so let's reload this blog post to make sure we got that new link. There we go. And now it's going to bring up that blog post that we linked to. Okay, that's it. A quick little video for you. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to shoot me a note and ask. Thanks.